is the sole motivation. Yes. To place in rhythm, structure, balance, harmony, variate in measures and cycles is necessary for a sense of well-being and wholeness. Sense of well-being and wholeness. Well-being and wholeness. So how important is music? Absolutely critical. We are musical, sexual, artistic, creative, sensual beings. Yes? And that's when we're whole and well and happy and charismatic. Okay. Um, engineering plays a significant role. All right. Building from the ground up seems to be a need to fill the exhausted. Okay. Building from the ground up. Building from the ground up. So limit me and concentrate me because if you were going to build a building from the ground up, you'd have to start here, wouldn't you? Like, I mean, I don't know what kind of building it would be, but you couldn't get all out here. You'd have to limit and concentrate that building in order to build it from the ground up, wouldn't you? Right. Okay. Next, sweetie. Or is that the last of that? Yeah, that's last. All right. What you want to choose now, honey? Go for it. Um. Oh, she's going to pull the Yi Jing. She's going to get down to some serious stuff. Woo! Let's see how this is going to work. Bring it on, baby. Um, Anything you want to read out there? Dragons fight in the meadow. Their blood is black and yellow. Wait a minute. Dragons fight in the meadow. I got to get this down. Okay. What? Their blood is black and yellow. Their blood is black and yellow. And then dragons fight in the meadow. The way comes to an end. The way comes to an end. I love that. The way comes to an end. That sounds great. All right, let's leave that alone. Let's put a star right here because we're going to see what's going to come up to give more, um, more color and more depth and more breath to dragons fight in the meadow. Their blood is black and yellow. The way comes to an end. All right, which way you want to go? You want to do some of this? Um, you tell me. You choose it. It's on there, sweetie. Mm. What's she doing now? Okay. Maestro. Eckhart. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what we got um, coming out. Anywhere you want to go. A deed as a deed is nothing in itself. Okay. Wait a minute. A deed as a deed is nothing in itself. All right. And did not happen by any will of its own. And it did not happen? Woo! Can I be still? Do you think I can be still? Wait a minute. And it did not happen. It did not happen. Of its own? Okay. Of its own. Now. By any will of its own. By any will. By any will of its own. Now you started, where did, point it to me, honey, when we said something else was going on, you know, besides us. Where was the thing at the beginning where, um, w what, when we think we're moving, but we're not really doing it? Oh, okay, Where'd that um, come from? I don't remember, but I think it was in this one. This? Because I know I wrote it down. I love that, but... No, I think it was on this. This one? I think it was on the paper you were writing on. Yeah. This one? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know either, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so it goes right back around to... Um, maybe I wrote it down. Was it, No, limit me and concentrate me. And we said, because we made mention of that, what we think we're doing is not keeping us alive. Yeah, I don't I know don't, where it is, though. So. I don't know it either. Where in the world did it come from? But anyway, so you got that out of Master Eckhart. And um, now, what you want to do next? It doesn't matter. OK. Let's do some tarot, see what's going on. Are you thirsty? I am. I'm not really talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Today I'm got it. Um, what do you want to do with them? I don't know. Let's shuffle them 
And uh, what was the number for today? Have we done that? Then I don't we'll think done. So. Oh yeah, we said it was 23. Okay. Because uh, we reduced down June 24, 2009. See if we had these um, lines open, mm -hmm. then the people could call in and tell us what it was that we said about whatever we did did not keep us alive. And that's what you just read. I love that, sweetie. A deed as a deed is nothing in it of itself. It did not happen of its own, on any own, its will of its own. How about that? Okay. okay, and we're still looking for dragons fight in the meadow. Their blood is black and yellow. Their blood is black and yellow. The way comes to an end. All right, give me half of those cards. All right, and what you got on the bottom? Um, looks like someone dying. <laughs> okay, it's, is that the 10? Yeah. Yes, yeah, a 10, I got a three. But let's shuffle them, and then we're going to count down to 23. You want to? And see what we come up with. One, twenty-two, twenty-three. Did you do twenty-three? Oh, you got mm -hmm. an eight, and I got a queen of cups. Okay, let's see what that is, sweetie. You go with your eight first. You know, I think you pulled that last week. I'm not sure, but um, in that bottom book down there. Maybe just next to the bottom book. That other one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, what are we looking for? An eight. Eight of wands. Let's see what it's going to say and how it's going to add to this particular are hour. Are in the front or in the back? I don't know. They might be in the, more to the front. Are they? In the, yeah. Okay, what you got? King of wands. Okay, what you got, what you got, what you got? You getting there? Seven and nine. What are we looking for? Eight. Let me see. There it is. Now the other page. Go to the other page. Let's see what we got. Totally, totally random occurrences, all connected, just like your life. Everything is significant. Every single solitary thing that happens to you in a run of a day is significant. You wake up, and if you start complaining, it is going to be detrimental, of course, to your day. But you must feel what you feel. Don't deny your feelings. But you cannot gauge or determine or interpret what your day will be. Let the moments unfold within themselves. Go, honey. Most often times when pulling various cards, Commencing deviation and guidance from the tarot, one seeks the de definite answer to the significant matter at hand. Okay, is that what we're doing? We, there are never, oh, and let me uh, interject right here. These are cards, inert cards. They have no power within themselves. They are pictures on cards. And whatever you ascribe to them, other than the pretty pictures, are left to you. At such time, one is unsure of which direction he should go. All right. That would be trying to limit and concentrate me, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. If I didn't know where I was going. All right. He is unable to discern whether he should go ahead or backwards or stand still. Ah! There's the question of the hour. There is the question of the hour. Should we go ahead? Should we back up? Of course, there is no backwards gear. And, or should we stand still? Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. In this particular case, the meaning is clouded purposely. Clouded purposely. And if that doesn't cover chaos, I know we talked about that to begin with. We talked about chaos, didn't we? Mm -hmm. There it is. There's the word. I do all this to show that everything, everything, everything is connected. You cannot, it's impossible not to have something that is relevant or irrelevant to what it is that you're saying or doing. I love it, I just love it. Clouded something, what'd you say? Clouded purposely. 
clouded purpose, okay? That would fall under chaos. And I think the creation was formed out of chaos. So when people get in a chaotic situation, they get so concerned, they want to hurry up, hurry up and smooth it out. No, be in the midst of it. Feel it. It will, there it goes, sweetie. The way comes to an end. <laughs> okay. Okay. The fact the card reveals itself as an ambiguous and divine reason. Ambiguous? Ambiguous, ambiguous. Let's just stop here a minute, sweetie, and see, can't we look up? You didn't know you were going to school today. I not to brought that. Uh, you look up ambiguous? Yeah, look up ambiguous. See what, just see what we're talking about. See if it's in there. It's a little book, might not be in there, but it should be. I think you said the way is divine and ambiguous. I like divine too. Limit me and concentrate me. Limit me and concentrate me. Limit my ambiguity. Yeah. Okay. It is indistant, okay. puzzling, unclear, or vague. Puzzling, unclear, and vague. And according to what you're reading now, and which card was that, baby? Eight. Okay. Of wands. Yeah, what happened to them? I don't know. I probably moved. Yeah, I moved them somewhere. <laughs> But anyway, it was the eight of wands. Got moved around. Um, so what we want is to be in a puzzling, unclear, and vague situation. The truth is that's what life is. Puzzling, unclear, and vague. But it is the soul's way of thirsting for human experience. Okay? Because okay. if we were here and we knew exactly and precisely what was going to have happen every moment, not only would we be bored out of our minds, but we'd have no purpose for being here. Okay, go ahead. Um, the card possesses a double meaning, as ah. does a man in a dual nature. Get out of here. So we got a double meaning, and we said the emphasis today was on Gemini because I was talking about Jacob's feet. I think that has to do with right here. Doesn't Gemini mean two? Yes, it does. And so, black and yellow, is that mm -hmm. not a dual nature? You got a real dark, somber, blah, yeah. you know, kind of deal going on. And then you got yellow, happy, bright, cheery. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, therefore, when he pulls out this card, mm -hmm. know that there are not one, but two directions that can be taken. Two directions? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when you got two directions? Let's see what you're going to do. Because it says the dragon's fight is in the meadow. All right. All right? Okay. Um, one must give careful thought to the motives whereby either direction should be contemplated upon before deciding the purpose of the middle road. Ah, motives. Motives are brought into play. I had written down... Um, thoughts reinstalled based upon ideas associated. We as human beings are seeking authentic action and response. Okay, we as human beings are seeking authentic action and response. And I just referred to the soul's craving for human experience. Now you just told me that the motives, we have to examine our motives before we'll know whether we are to go ahead or back up or stand still, but you're telling me there's two ways to go. Mm -hmm. Two ways, all of you cancers out there. Uh, the middle road is what all mortals are striving for. I got you, and I think in the ancient manuscripts, I think it is written, you know, few and far between find it, but it's the middle way. Perfect balance, perfect understanding, complete fairness, true motives, unaltered desires and the craving for the earthly ego. Wow, I got you. Go ahead. The middle road that is indeed straight and narrow that few ever find. I think I just said that. <laughs> How about that? Wow, now that's pretty close on it that you read the words that I just said before I say them. Um, and that ain't me, honey. That's life. That's what my whole point is. This, we're just exemplifying what, it, what takes place in everybody's life every day, every second. Limit me and concentrate me. Limit me and concentrate me, all right? Keep on, sweetie. Um, the other road being wide, 
leading to internal demation and destruction, never satisfying, be, being constituency, <laughs> consciously calls to all hungry, lonely, and miserable warfares on earth. Okay, and did you, I love that, sweetie, because what you said, so that's the fight. That's the dragon's fight in the meadow. Um, all this wide and destruction is an internal thing, and it leads to misery and chaos, chaotic um, envy. What, the word was envy for today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, a looking and comparing what you've got to what I've got. All of this is taking place within ourselves. Our worlds are created from within. This is what it's talking about, having two distinct ways. We have an inward way and we have an outward way. And the outward is usually a manifestation of an inward experience. Okay, go ahead. Does this imply that life, wait, does this imply that in the life and after this one that mortals will be demanded and destroyed, tormented day and night endlessly? We absolutely do not. I hear you. So our destruction and our torment takes place right now. We don't have to wait to get it. We're not going somewhere and be punished and destroyed and ripped to pieces. We do that to ourselves momentarily. Absolutely. You, you agree with that, Pisces? Mm -hmm. I mean, we can, our minds. In fact, that other thing, reference to memory. I just, I wrote that before I came here today. Reference to memory. And that is exactly what you're talking about. Because we can get in our minds and the ego can take over. And anytime you know when the ego has taken over, here's the clue. You start thinking about things yesterday, 10 years ago, five years ago, or you project yourself in the future and say, I want to be this, but I'm not. So you start, that's misery. That's called hell, honey. It's not, a, it's a burning torment right here inside yourself. Okay. Um, we say that the damnation and destruction therein is concentrated and the life is dependent upon the path that one chooses. Ah! Limit me and concentrate me. You even used the word, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's move on to that other card, which was, there she is, there was. That was the Eight of Wands, that's part of it. Now we're going to the Queen of Cups and see how that is relative to what we're, the subject, the theme of what we're talking about today. Mode of Cosmic Therapy, I love it. It's uh, just instantaneous life. Limit me and concentrate me. Limit me and concentrate me. Thou art far too vainly emotional for God's child. Woo! Now you